Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So more red in the crypto space, Bitcoin down to 11,363, uh, Ethereum 269, and XRP trading just over 33 cents. It seems as though this has been an ongoing theme over the last few days now. If you look at the chart, this is Bitcoin on the hourly, guys. Uh, in this last hour, yeah, we saw a lot of decline here. Okay, we were moving down uh, yesterday evening, uh, and then finally this morning, a big move down um so what does that mean after a positive tweet from president donald trump a couple of days ago the crypto market was seeing some upward momentum but obviously um you know these tweets are just that they're 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 not going to be able to sustain a market uh so i think we're still seeing some downward uh, pressure for bitcoin i think it could realistically hit the ten thousand dollar mark again before it shoots up i think that this is a strong level of support uh just because it is that ten thousand dollar price point and uh, in people's heads now they're thinking that anything under ten thousand dollars is a good buy for bitcoin and so i'm sure there are a lot of buy orders under that ten thousand dollar right around that ten thousand dollar mark i think if we uh, came back down here we could uh, see a pop back up just like we saw here uh, and i think that that could be the double bottom we see for bitcoin in order for it to shoot uh, right back up past this $13,800 mark, making new highs in this rally, uh, and then hopefully moving towards that $20,000 price point. Okay, that's the next stop. Analysts are still predicting that we are going to burst through that $20,000 price point by the end of 2019, me included. I actually do think this uh, later in the year, possibly quarter four, well, probably quarter four in my opinion, and uh, a few others' opinions. We still have a ways to go, and uh, this is okay. Okay, guys because uh, again guys this is Bitcoin on a daily we, we don't need we need to keep the momentum moving so to have a few uh, indecisive days or some bearish days to keep that market correcting uh, that's okay and for us XRP hodlers uh, you know we don't want to hear that we want to see XRP move but realistically guys all the alts aren't doing terribly well right now okay we get caught up in the one we hold and we get caught up in this idea that, well, you know, the market's not really reacting in uh, the way that uh, we had hoped that it would. And so that feeling of doubt and frustration, that's all normal stuff. What we have to remember is that XRP over the long run will be an important digital asset on this planet we call Earth. And, uh, you know, a lot of people in the crypto space are now starting to mention that any cryptocurrency that has a real world utility that has value attached to it are going to be the ones that do the best in the future. I get that it's probably hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel at this moment in time, but um, we just got to persevere. Okay, and I wanted to hit on this before I move on. Uh, Japanese crypto scene sees another hack. So guys, yet another hack. A Japanese crypto asset exchange, Bitpoint, has just been the subject of a large hack during which attackers managed to steal over $30 million worth of Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Um, it just goes to show you that we still are very susceptible to these hacks and if you guys have your cryptocurrency on an exchange i do suggest you get one of these if you do not have one already i know probably lots of you already have one of these okay i've been using my ledger nano s for over a year and a half now it is an external crypto wallet guys i do have an affiliate link in the description of my videos you can use it if you want but you do not have to use it if you do not want to they now offer an upgraded model the uh, nano x you can even do a bundle pack if you want to back up your nano uh they have deals on that so guys i would suggest suggest you look into that if you um you know if you're feeling like you are starting to invest more into crypto right we're seeing these dips maybe some of you guys are buying these dips and uh you know you're you're starting to build up your stash of xrp or what have you and you're looking for a safe way to store it guys i do suggest this uh this product it's really great but enough about that let's talk about the piece de resistance here donald j trump at the real donald trump actually tweeting about crypto now this came across my desk not because other other YouTubers have already kind of latched onto this. A friend of mine, actually, I was I was out of town for a little bit, and a friend actually uh, texted me this, uh, and I didn't really look at it until this morning. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Uh, give my point of view on the Donald J. Trump tweet. I am not a fan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies which are not money, and whose value is highly volatile and based on thin air. Unregulated crypto assets can facilitate unlawful behavior, including drug trade and illegal activity. So that was the main tweet there. Then he goes on to say, similarly, Facebook Libra's 
Virtual currency will have little standing or dependability. If Facebook and other companies want to become a bank, they must seek a new banking charter and become subject to all banking regulations, just like other banks, both national and international. We have only one real currency in the USA, and it is stronger than ever, both dependable and reliable. It is by far the most dominant currency anywhere in the world, and it will always stay that way. It is called the United States dollar. Dun da da da! So patriotic, Mr. Trump, so patriotic. But what I think he's saying is not exactly what you might think he is saying. And I'll tell you some reasons why he is saying that he is not a fan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which are not money. So I think what he's really trying to hit home here is that, uh, you know, the spec market, when people are trading, buying and selling Bitcoin, and they're seeing, you know, the price pump. A huge amount, right? But there are other reasons and there are other countries around the world that are uh, now, you know, buying Bitcoin because of, of their dollar becoming inflationary. So there are all these kinds of moments uh, that are happening right now where people are kind of focused on Bitcoin for various different reasons. Spec market to hedge them against their national currency, which might be experiencing hyperinflation, so on and so forth. I think Donald Trump, though, is talking about uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as being something that uh, one should be very careful when uh, looking at and investing in. I, I think that he's kind of likening this to, you know, people jumping on the bandwagon thinking they can make a lot of money very quickly. Uh, and then he goes on, you know, of course, unregulated crypto assets can facilitate unlawful behavior. So, of course, you know, privacy coins, uh, Bitcoin in the past has had uh, a bit of a shady record. But did you guys notice in this tweet, he does follow this up by saying unregulated cryptocurrency assets can facilitate unlawful behavior. So unregulated cryptocurrency assets or crypto assets. Um, so what does he mean by this? Ones that do not follow the rules, ones that are um, purposely trying to thwart the system, ones that are trying to work against the system. Uh, you know, those anarchists who love the idea of uh, using their own currency in order to uh, not be dependent on traditional um, government-backed fiat currencies. And I think he purposely used this word unregulated crypto assets because there are lots of regulated crypto assets that we know are coming down the pipe and that we know will change the financial landscape for good, namely Ripple's XRP. Okay, Facebook and Libra have been in the news as well. And so, uh, you know, he's talking a little bit about that and how if they want to become a bank, they really should get it together and comply like the responsible companies in this space. Hint, hint, wink, wink, Ripple. And it's funny, down here, Alex Cobb tweets out to uh, the president. Guys, I'll link this tweet in the description if you want to uh, go on further. Then XRP Boy, XRP, that's at XRP Boy on Twitter, posts this. And if you guys do not remember, this is from Breaker Mag. This is from the interview that Breaker Mag did with Corey Johnson when he was still with Ripple back in October 2018. Uh, and here's an excerpt from it. Do you have a sense of what the Trump administration thinks about a product like Ripple? Okay, so Corey Johnson was actually asked this, okay? Uh, there, there was, so let me go back a little further. So this, again, back from October 2018, Trump officials formally meet Ripple. And so um, in a recent interview with Breaker, Johnson clarifies certain issues that have been hounding the San Francisco-based firm, which caused a lot of confusion. He says that the difference between the XRP token and Ripple is one of the major causes of the confusion. Yada, yada. Uh, okay, I don't know. It doesn't say it there. But ultimately, what I was trying to get at is that uh, Ripple execs did, in fact, meet the Trump administration. And so Corey Johnson uh, was interviewed about this. And so, again, this is just the excerpt from that. I know some of you guys might already know this. Some of you guys, this is probably new to you. So Johnson goes on to say, when I started to meet with people in government and regulators, I had very low expectations. I have been truly amazed at the open-mindedness, number one. And number two, uh, the smart questions, sometimes even tough questions. There's clearly a lot of homework going on. The White House in particular seems to be thinking about what it means to have 80% of Bitcoin mining taking place in China. So again, guys, going back to Trump's tweet, I'm not a fan of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies uh, and, uh, you know, unregulated crypto assets. So the fact that... He's saying this, I think what he's referring to is ultimately, you know, cryptos can still be manipulated if they are not 
um, properly scrutinized. And it looks as though Corey Johnson has talked about this and the fact that, you know, 80% of Bitcoin mining taking place in China and the majority of Ether mining taking place in China. When you look at XRP, there is no mining. So from a foreign control aspect or from an environmental aspect, XRP is a very different beast. And in conversations we've had with the administration, they seem to get that and think that might matter. So this is all great stuff for mass adoption and Ripple as a company in particular. How high up in the administration have you gone as far as talks go? So Corey Johnson doesn't actually address that directly, but he does say, uh, we're in regular talks throughout Washington and we meet with regulators as well as politicians. We've got a whole team that's devoted to doing that, not just in the US, but worldwide. Our regulatory team, they jump on planes like their pants are on fire. And we've known this, right? Um, you know, Ripple has deployed a lot of people to you know go around the globe and get banks and governments on board with what they are doing and i believe they have been successful doing this the other thing i just wanted to mention just about this trump tweet here uh is that uh and and some and some uh, analysts have talked about this as well now when i type donald trump cryptocurrencies in google look at what comes up it just caught fire of course it is donald trump this is great for bringing cryptocurrency into the spotlight to put it front and center in front of people again uh and so i just typed in donald trump cryptocurrencies and then all these tweets pop up you know from 14 hours ago 23 hours ago 22 hours ago donald trump is right about bitcoin I am not a fan of Bitcoin. Donald Trump hits out at Facebook's Libra. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies aren't money. Donald Trump is right about Bitcoin again. U.S. President Donald Trump says he's not a fan of Bitcoin. So again, the media latching onto this, you know, from the Guardian, Market Watch, CNBC, and more media outlets. So this is something to watch. I think the coded message here, unregulated crypto assets can facilitate unlawful behavior. Uh, that referring to the ones that uh, we know as being against the government, you know, create within a system that was uh, supposed to overthrow the government, you know, after the collapse, the stock market crash of 2008, 2009. But we live in a different world now. Companies like Ripple are looking to change the face of finance and they have been compliant along the way. Um, all their members talk about that, how they have been following the rules, how they welcome regulation with open arms. So I think that this is a step forward for cryptocurrency. I think it's great that they're in the limelight right now. Thank you, President Trump, for bringing this up because because we know that your tweets get covered, whether they deserve to or not, and whether you're a fan of Donald Trump or not, I think we could probably all agree that we're pretty happy that he's tweeting about cryptos. Anyways, that's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.